AF, we on the move back with another one. All right, guys, tonight we're going to have an ammo score video of an ammo score that I did earlier today. We're going to go do what I got, how much I paid for it, and where I got it from. But before all that, make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that you subscribe to the channel right now. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe on this video and hit the bell so you're notified each and every time a new video hits the channel. All right, and also make sure you follow me on Instagram at American Ammo Firearms at American Ammo Firearms. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So this morning, I was actually supposed to be at work and uh, I got the day off, so I figured I'll do an ammo hunt. So I got out in the streets and uh, I actually did a live and I live fed the whole exact thing. So if you guys want to see the whole process of what I did, check out my video. I posted it earlier today. It's a live video. It's about two hours. And they show you the whole process of where I got it from and uh, give you a little inside look on how we, we on the hunt for ammo out here. All right. So my first stop was at Academy uh, out here in Houston. I got there about 820. They open at nine o'clock. When I got there, there were about 35 to 40 people already in line. So I lined up after that. Um, a lot of people came in right after that behind me. There might have been another 20 people behind me. Uh, but man, this time I tell you, they had a lot of ammo coming, guys. And a lot of feedback I've been getting from academies out here in Houston is ever since Monday, they've been getting huge, huge loads of ammo in. Um, a lot more than they have been in the last past 12 months. So is the ammo shortage about to be over? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to sit back and watch. But uh, we, we can only be optimistic about it, right? All right. So let's get into what I got, where I got it from, and how much I paid. All right, we start off at Academy. So when I got in there, lined up, everybody comes in. They have everybody come in five at a time. You come down the aisle, you kind of wrap around a little bit. It's social distancing every six feet. Um, they got all the ammo behind customer service stacked up. And you get three boxes um, total. Doesn't matter how big the box is. You get three total boxes um, of ammo, and that's the limit. All right, so let's see what I got. So first, we got a five, a 500 round box of Winchester 556 M1, M193 full metal jacket. These cost me $229, all right? When I did my uh, Camp Out Academy video two months ago, these boxes were at 209, all right? So the prices has increased by about $20, but uh, that is market price, all right? Everything Academy selling, they're at market price. They're not doing any price gouging. So that's a fair price, absolutely, all right? So I got one box of that. What did I get? Boom, two boxes, Mel. So I got 1,000 rounds of 5.56, y'all, at 2.29 a pop. Um, in this day and age, man, that's a win all day, every day. Anybody who's been in the ammo game long enough and knows what's going on around here knows that that's a great deal. Um, so that's what I scored today. All right, I got one more box of ammo that I scored from Academy. Uh, I know a lot of you guys don't like steel. I hear all the arguments about steel, how it fouls your barrel at the time and it's dirty, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to tell you right now, steel case shoots just as good as anything I've ever shot. It's dirty and, and the extractor doesn't cost that much if it wears it out. All right. So the other thing that I got. Hold on, y'all. This thing is heavy, y'all. Give me a second. Hold on. All right, ooh, ooh. All right, so we got Monarch, 308 Winchester steel case, 145 grain full metal jackets. All right, these were 179, y'all, for 360 rounds of 308 Winchester. I don't care if it's steel, guys. All right, this is a deal. Any way you look at it, this is a, this is a deal, all right? So if my guns don't shoot steel, man, I ain't buying them. Y'all know what it is. I don't have a 308 Winchester, but I will be using this in some sort of barter trade, all right, for some other calibers that I might want, or a gun or whatever. I might even trade it for a gun if I can. So basically, when you guys are getting ammo, when you see ammo available, if you don't have the caliber, make sure you guys, even if you don't have it, take a look at what it is and how it's sought after and how on the market it can have value for you. Um, this can be traded for sure, all right? So that's what we got there. All right, so as I was on my live and I'm in my car after my score and I'm talking to the, to the people on the live and saying what I scored, we're chatting it up. 
I said, man, I should go to Bass Pro because Bass Pro is down the street from me about maybe five minutes from the academy I was at. So, you know, I started talking to them and they started peer pressuring me. Go, go, go to Bass Pro, go to Bass Pro, go to Bass Pro. Y'all know if y'all saw my earlier video, me and Bass Pro has a tumultuous relationship right now because of what they did for the online sales. But at the same time, they're still offering fair prices on the ammunition. So I'm not going to absolutely cut them out yet. All right. So I went to Bass Pro, walked in. They had a sign on the wall, on the, on the, some sort of sign sitting in the middle of the floor, basically saying scan a QR code so you can get your place in line. Um, me and another guy were talking. He actually subbed to the channel while we were sitting there talking. And I was telling him how to get ammo. And he, he was we kind of chopping it up. Um, another guy behind the counter said, hey, man, you guys looking for ammo? Another worker. We said, yeah. And I asked him what he had. He basically just told us, come on down to the end of the aisle. We went down to the end of the aisle. We didn't never sign up for the um, QR code line thing. We went straight there. Asked him what he had. He told us. Um, so me and the other guy uh, proceeded to score. So this is what we got. Move this over a little bit. All right. So the first thing I got was Federal 308 Winchester, 100, 180 grain jacketed soft points. All right. Those were $21.99 a box. They had a total of three boxes. Um, but the other guy that was there with, he said that he was looking for 308. So I asked him if that's what he needed. He said, yeah. So I said, cool. Just give me one box. Um, you can take the other two boxes. He was happy. He would say that's all he needed. So he was a happy camper, man. Shout out to him. I can't remember his name. Um, but he says something to the channel, man. I appreciate the conversation we had. All right. So we got that. Move that over a little bit. So then I came across this. We got Hornady Performance 20 rounds of 30 odd six 165 grain SST ammo from Hornady. All right. I was real happy with this find because 30 odd six is super hard to find right now. So we got one box of those. We got two boxes of those. Hold on, y'all messed my camera up. Let me readjust, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to readjust here. All right. So we got two boxes of that. Three boxes. And four boxes for a total of 80 rounds of 30 odd six. In their configuration, they're calling this some sort of um, uh, weird little, uh, it's not really a hollow point, it's not really a soft point. It's some sort of shock point. Not very familiar with it. But I'm assuming it's a hunting type round. All right. So these were $34.99 at Bass Pro. The 308 Winchester was $21.99 at Bass Pro for 20 rounds of soft point. With that being said, guys, do not pay these out enormous prices for ammo. Ammo is still out there. You still have to do a little bit of research. You still have to uh, get a network. The best thing I can tell you guys to do is uh, get on some of these YouTube channels that's uh, doing ammo. A lot of people are talking in the comments. I know on our live, man, while we're on the live today, a lot of people are saying, hey, this location has ammo. This location has ammo. People are showing up at the one I was at because they still have ammo. Uh, uh, Bass Pro and Academy, if you have them in your city, a lot of people were saying Rural King. Rural King was having ammo lately too. Um, some people were in line at Big Five on the live chat. So guys, paying these enormous prices for this ammo, uh, you don't have to, guys, all right? It's not necessary, all right? Paying a dollar a round and two dollars a round for ammo is ridiculous. Don't pay it. Find other methods. If you haven't watched the other videos on my channel, I have a lot of videos on the channel that give you tips on how to find ammo. Also, if you want to find the live feed that I did earlier showing the whole process of how I got this ammo, uh, make sure you tune into that. It's about two hours long. You can skip along as you like, all right? But if you haven't hit the like and subscribe on this video, make sure you hit the like. That's how you support the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all y'all. Also, we're on the road to 5,000. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. Once we get to 5,000 subscribers, man, we're going to try to do something nice and have a little giveaway or something at 5,000, all right? AF, we're on the move. Back with another one. Y'all know what it is. See you next time.